Have you ever heard about a snazzy jazz player with the name of Edward Kennedy Ellington? Or in other words, Duke Ellington? Duke Ellington was born April 29, 1899 in the big city of Washington, D.C. Ellington's name was Edward, but wherever he went, he said, Call me Duke. Duke's mother and father enrolled him into piano lessons, but Duke didn't want to go. He would much rather play a fun game of baseball. Duke's parents made him play the same boring tune over and over. One and two and one and two. Soon, he quit his piano lessons and kissed the piano a fast goodbye. A few years later, Duke heard that Umpy Dump in a whole new way. Duke had heard that folks called it the music ragtime. The ragtime music set Duke's fingers to wiggling, and soon he started to make up his own melodies. Whole notes, chords, sharps, and flats. Now, playing the piano was Duke's all-time love, and by the time Duke was 19, he was playing at parties, pool halls, and country clubs. It wasn't very long before Duke created his own band, and he and his band soon headed over to New York City, where jazz music ruled. Soon enough, Duke and his band were asked to play at the Cotton Club, Harlem's fanciest hangout. Duke's band changed their name to Duke Ellington and his orchestra. His songs were heard all over the radio. His moon indigo was a musical stream melody, and Duke's Creole love call was one of the snazziest tunes in town. Sometimes the orchestra performed their tunes straight up, but on other nights, when the joints started to jump, Duke told his band to play whatever came to mind. To improvise, their solos. And they did. Duke introduced black, brown, and beige at New York's Carnegie Hall. He had the Carnegie Hall sizzling with applause. And because of Duke's genius, he and his orchestra now had a musical mix like no other. So now you've heard of the jazz playing man, King of the Keys, Piano Prince, Edward Kennedy Ellington, the Duke. Duke Ellington passed away May 24, 1974. Duke's last words were, Music is how I live, why I live, and how I will be remembered. Find this book at your local library or at the JS Library too. This beautiful book was written by Andrea Davis Pinkney, Pinkney and was illustrated by Andrea's brother, Brian Pinkney. One of our big requests 